Welcome to Tubam Theater. Alright, you've asked and asked. So guess what? Tubam Theta is back at D-Lab Electronics. Greetings from D-Lab. Project this weekend. Let's convert a Hammond AO44 organ amplifier into a useful guitar amplifier. So here's the amp. It normally ran a 6CA4 rectifier tube and a pair of 6GW8 tubes, okay? This one is in kit form right now. Somebody was converting it, carved everything out, but never finished it. So they sent it to me and said, hey, I'd rather have this use a pair of 6BQ5s because they're readily available. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put in a 12AX7 tube here in this hole. We're going to add another hole for the inverter tube and we'll have a pair of 6BQ5s. We'll still use the original rectifier tube. I've made up a little schematic here. I'll post this on the video at the end. We're going to keep this design as simple as possible. As I said, we're going to convert these output tubes to 6BQ5s. The inverter tube will be a 6AV6, 12AX7 input. We may have to adjust the gain on the 12AX7 because all we have is a volume pot. So there's a chance that without the tone pots, we may have too high of a signal. So I might have to kind of throttle that back. Our bottom side, you can see a lot of the work is already done for me. Got the speaker output here. This would be our input jack, which will go direct to the 12AX7. Kind of nice there. I landed this terminal board for the wiring between the 12AX7 inverter and the output tubes. A lot of this existing wire I will reuse. This gold guy is coming out, but the 6BQ5 will probably still use this bias resistor and some of the other supporting circuitry. So first thing I need to do is get the filaments wired to our new tube sockets. All right, to uh, perform this conversion, the pinout of the tube socket bases are different from the 6GW8 to the 6BQ5. So I'm gonna get in here and carve out some of the components that are in my way. I'm going to reconfigure these bases. So for the conversion to the 6BQ5s, pretty much every pin was wrong except for the filament lines. So I pretty much had to strip off all the wiring, clean the tube pins. You can see my shrapnel down here. Time to rewire it. All right, she's coming along. I found some brown wire for the filaments to match the stock wiring. This little guy here is the screen circuits going to pin 9. This black wire is the cathode going to pin 3. All right, I've got the power supply connected. AC line coming in. Hot side going through the fuse, through the switch, and back to the primary. I've reconfigured the power supply capacitor. So the orange line is a screen feed, and the red line is the plate voltage for the 6AV6 and the 12AX7. So now it's time to wire this up. All right, wiring is complete, all except for the bias resistor. I'm not sure if this 130 ohm is right yet. So I'm going to get that hooked up and measure the current through the new 6BQ5 output tubes. So I've completed wiring up the Hammond amp. Here's your 12AX7 with the circuitry, the 6AV6 inverter, feeding the 6BQ5s. Here is the bias resistor, which turned out to be 150 ohms. My plate voltage is around 300 volts. I've got the tubes installed. Let's put it on the scope. Here's the initial test. I have my Tektronix oscilloscope monitoring the output across the dummy load resistor, leader audio generator as the input. We're set at about uh, 500 hertz right now. Bring up the gain. Here's the output. Looks nice. Vary the frequency. Looks super clean. Time to get it on a speaker and see what it sounds like. Well, here it is. As promised, the schematic. So you can convert your Hammond AO44 amplifier into a Class AB 6BQ5 amp for guitar use. Now, if you take a look at the schematic, you can see this thing is really straightforward. There's no tone circuits. We're simply coming in, we're going to amplify, go through the gain pot, 
reamplify a little bit. Then you hit the 6AV6 inverter tube. There's no gain to this tube, okay? So it's all done up front. From there, you drive the grids of the 6BQ5. I utilize the stock power supply in the AO44. So I'm still using the 6CA4 rectifier tube and the original filter cap in this case was good. So I repurposed that too for the new design. Speaker output is straight eight. That's all they had and that's what you get. But I'll tell you what, this is a great amp for recording or studio purposes. If you'd like a copy of the schematic, I have it in JPEG format. I can email it to you. Just look up my information, shoot me an email, and I'll send you the schematic. Here's the final layout of the amp. Maintain the original 6CA4 rectifier, pair of 6BQ5s, 12AX7 preamp, little 6AV6 as the inverter. This is your output transformer, power transformer, and filter cap. Controls on this one is nothing more than volume. Okay, cool. Good? Yeah. Well, hey guys, I got Spike here, and he is going to demo that Hammond AO44 amp for you. So, I hope he likes it. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> yeah, it sounds great so far. All right, man. Rocking the world. <laughs> 